Hey guys, Hello Bella here. In this video, I want to cover my Merch by Amazon sales for the second week of December 2019. My sales have definitely gone up from the first week to the second week of December. My royalties for the week were $476. My average sale was $3.84. So I had only three returns, which I'm happy with because I have gotten more returns lately. My average royalty per day for the week was $59.52, so just under $60. Bucks. And my best day this week was $98.91 so that is awesome I would really like to have more hundred dollar days <laughs> but as of right now that has not happened very often for me so the numbers were pretty much the same as last week except for a few more unique products sold so 2.3 percent of all my products sold which I think is really really good considering I almost have like 2800 products up now something like that um, 67 unique products sold and most of them were t-shirts 64 t-shirts but then we also sold 28 pop sockets and I have not sold this many pop sockets ever but I have a pop socket that's ranking like number two for this particular phrase that people are typing in and it's a really popular thing so I think that I'll you know hopefully continue getting sales from that for the rest of um, you know for the rest of the quarter and hopefully for the rest of next year as well because it is really up there with um, some other bestsellers so it's nice to get things ranked um, because once they rank it doesn't seem to go down very easily for instance I have a cactus shirt that is like one of the it's literally number one and it people make better shirts than it but it's still ranked number one so I think that that's a good that's a good argument for being the first of your kind of something so whenever you search something and you don't find anything in the search results or you find only five or ten don't let that scare you away from making the design because I mean that is a you know it's good to do your market research but at the same time you know maybe nobody has it up yet because nobody has been creative enough to put it up yet so some of the designs that I have actually put up I have had no competition with and then once I put the design up and it sold I had all these other people who use the same particular phrase or the same concept that I use and I know this because some of this is stuff that I literally made up that I couldn't find anywhere else and people would copy that so not hating on that or anything but just saying that working with evergreen niches is something that I think is the one of the most sustainable business models because you don't have to worry about trends the only bad thing about trends is that once Christmas is over all of these Christmas sales are gone and they're not gonna be you know I'm not gonna be making Christmas shirt sales in January so that's the thing about the holidays if you base your account around holidays you need to actually literally just print a um, a list of all the holidays and just go through and make t-shirts for each and every holiday that way you can go ahead and get them up and make sure that you have a steady flow of designs coming up for each holiday. So the premium shirts only sold 17 of the long sleeve. I sold five long sleeve shirts and I think it was pretty much all the same um, shirt. And for the long sleeves, I priced them at $25 and I get around $5 royalty on them. For my sweatshirts, I sold four and I priced those anywhere between $35 to $39.99. The V-necks, I sold three and I usually priced those around $19.99. Same for tank tops and then the raglans, I sold one of those. Those look really cute and the thumbnail for those looks, looks good, but I don't know. They just don't sell for some reason, so. So... Most of my sales were black and then asphalt and then heather blue, dark heather, cranberry, yada yada. So one Kelly Green. Oh yeah, I remember now what, what that was. So just looking at these um, sales, all of my um, evergreen shirts were the ones that were in the top five. Actually, I think the pop socket was number two and that was one that sold 17 times and then the... Um, the evergreen shirt, the cactus shirt, is number one. It usually is my number one. Oh, this is so annoying, you guys. Is this happening for you guys as well? Because this is not fixed, and I really, it's starting to get on my nerves. Sorry, guys. I had to sign back into Pretty Merch. So, the basically the shirts that sell for me all year long are still continuing to sell. And some of my designs that I have started... Um, have started following trends on are starting to sell so I'm happy about that 
I have sold a couple of long sleeve shirts. Yeah, I make $5.25 on those, so that's pretty good. And then this sweatshirt, I think I priced that around $35 or 30, maybe 32 or 33. Um, I like when the sweatshirt sell because it's a pretty good royalty and they don't get returned. I've never got a sweatshirt returned, so that's that's always good. Um, and then this is just stuff that um, only sold once or twice, some pop sockets. I'm really happy with my pop socket sales picking up because I, when I first started, I didn't sell any pop sockets, but maybe I just like wasn't making the right pop sockets. I'm not sure. I think I uploaded around 100 pop sockets whenever it first started, but the problem was that I was uploading things that did not have like any emotional pull, and I think that that's the name of the game with this is making someone find a reason to buy something is like, why would they buy this? Why, what is this person seeing in this? What are they identifying with? What is pulling at their little heartstrings and making them wanna make the uh, one click buy purchase or whatever? So in the future, I just, I'm more aware of that now. And I think that that just comes with time. You figure out what stuff is gonna sell and what stuff is not. And things that just kind of are only gonna sell once but I, I don't think it's a waste of time to upload something if you think it's only going to sell, um, you know, three or four times a year. Because at the end of the day, that's still around 20 bucks if you can price it at um, $19.99. And I think that it's worth the time. Overall, this platform has added quite a bit of income to my life in 2017, 2018, 2019. And I'm really thankful for it, despite the fact that it's not as easy as it was and it's a lot more competitive. I'm still grateful for the opportunity because, hey, I mean, $478 is not nothing for sure. Um, I'm going to Gatlinburg next week. And so that's, that's literally pay for the hotel room and probably pay for um, some dinners and stuff. So I'm really thankful for that. And I just wanted to share my numbers with you guys to keep it transparent and to let you know what is going on for me in the second week of December. Hope that everyone's Q4 is going well. We only have a couple days till Christmas, guys. It is actually, I'm filming this on the 15th. So, what do we have until Christmas? One week, let's see, three, 10 days until Christmas. So, that is like, oh, that's coming up quick. I will be sad after Christmas because people, um, the sales will probably go down, but I think I'm going to really hit the um, exercise niches and the um, like New Year's resolution niches and probably go into not. A few, I didn't I don't do very well with Valentine's Day shirts, but I don't really see what kind of Valentine's Day shirt anyone would want to wear. But at the same time, I'm like, don't don't think like that, because people are definitely buying all kinds of shirts. Um, and then we have St. Patrick's Day. And, you know, so it, it never ends, guys. Just just keep putting stuff out there and you'll, you'll make sales eventually. And I think that the biggest thing is, like, make sure it's about what you know about. That way that you are not competing with the most trending or the top one, 100,000 or whatever. Just stick to what you know and I think the sales will come. So, yeah, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. would really appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up if you got something out of it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next video.